By any chance, have you gained a little weight this year? If so, you're not alone. You may be thinking about shedding some pounds in 2021, but before you do that, you'll want to know the truth about several common exercise and weight loss myths. So joining me now live from Cape Cod, Mass, is nurse practitioner Mimi Secor to debunk these popular beliefs. Mimi, good morning to you. Good morning, Scott. Great to talk with you. Happy you, holidays. You as well. I'll look how popular we're all. You're getting phone calls. Myth one, let's talk about that. You can easily lose weight exercising. Apparently not true. Not true. Unfortunately, you cannot out-exercise an unhealthy eating plan, unhealthy diet. So you can spend the day exercising, but if you're just chowing down on junk food all day long because you're stressed out, that's not going to work. So you generally can't out-exercise an unhealthy diet. Oh, I was hoping for that. What about exercise? What about exercise is essential for weight loss? I always thought it was. Is that not the case? It's absolutely not essential. In fact, in the early months of weight loss, you get more glory on the scale if you don't exercise because exercise builds muscle and that weighs more than fat. So for a lot of people, if it, it feels more glorious to not weigh yourself too much in the beginning so you can see that immediate weight loss but it's essential to overall fitness of course yeah so what you're saying is you might end up weighing the same if not more but it's more so about where you've gained it and what you know i'm talking about muscle versus fat weight absolutely and muscle is awesome because you're going to live to 110 if you have plenty of muscle so you can get in and out of chairs and up off the floor uh, it's really important. So you have to go by how you feel. You have to go by how your clothes look. Maybe your waist isn't quite as mushy uh, over time, and that's a victory. Everyone wants that victory. Oh, without a doubt. I like this myth. Steady cardio, which, by the way, I don't like, is effective for weight loss. So I don't have to do it? Is that what you're saying? You actually can change it up. You can do high-intensity interval training where you go as fast as you can, for 15 to 30 seconds and then recover for about 30 seconds. Do that for 20 minutes, you've burned off as many calories as if you did steady cardio for half an hour, 45 minutes. Oh, so it's I way more efficient, it gives you something to do. So I still gotta do cardio is what you're saying. <laughs> well, you do, you probably still do have to do cardio because we're supposed to get 150 minutes a week. But that's about 30 minutes a day, which is super easy. And you can get it in 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there. I just cross country skied for 20 minutes. Wow, look at you. I got to buy some. I do it every day if there's snow on the ground. I got to do a little tallow marking or whatever they call it. All right, eating less and moving more, that's generally effective for weight loss. That's a myth? That can be a myth. So that's a simplistic concept. And we're very complicated. We're each our own science experiment. So as you eat less, you may actually have your metabolism slow down. As you increase your exercise, if it's too much for your body, you can actually have your metabolism slow down and plateau. So it's much more complicated than eat less, move more. You usually have to analyze your macros, your protein, your fat, your carbohydrate ratios, which requires someone to help you. All right, I know you have a lot of information, not just what you gave us today, but more on top of that. Is there an easy place I know that you have to find There's that? There's an easy place. I have a book. It's an international number one bestseller, Debut a New You, Transforming Your Life at Any Age. And it's entirely updated and free as an audiobook. So you can just go to debutanewyou.com forward slash free and you can download it and get all of my pearls. I guarantee they're going to help you. And then you get three more free bonuses as my pandemic special gift to you. All right, Happy free. Holidays. You can't beat that on Christmas. You can't beat that. I'm just into helping people get healthy and fit. Well, you've done it this morning. Mimi Secor, thanks for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you, Scott. Happy holidays to you. You as well. If you'd like more information, you can go to fox59.com slash links. Good ideas there, Amber. It really is. You need to up your cardio, though, it sounds yeah, like. Yeah, apparently just, just sitting on the couch, you know, running to the fridge every now and then. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. But, hey, that's cool that she's offering those tips and her information free. So that's awesome. All right. So